Okay, so just a first initial video about uh, using the Mr. Carve M1 Pro, uh, the one with the USB on the back, oh, sorry, the USB socket and the one that has the attachments with it, rotary and uh, rollers. Uh, now, normally you have to use that BSL or uh, simple app um, and there's been requests for it to work with Lightburn for years and years. Uh, so we have uh, got it working uh, with Lightburn uh, to um, this success is uh, mixed. <laughs> they, you have to use the uh, beta 1.7.00 if you download that from their uh, beta page uh, and install it. That's the uh, version of Lightburn you need. You're obviously going to have to upgrade your license to one that has Galvo uh, access and it is £85 and that will run for the length of your remaining license which in my case is um, a quite a few days if we have a look. Let's have a look. We've got 262 days uh, remaining uh, on that. Uh, now I had to deactivate, after I'd paid, it, when you log in they show you your, and pay for it, they show you your current license number. That doesn't change, but uh, I couldn't get it to recognise that I'd paid for the Galvo license. So what I did was went into uh, help on this, license management, and then I deactivated the license, uh, closed the program, uh, ran it again, re-entered the license and uh, that time it recognised that I'd paid for the Galvo, uh, you know, the Galvo update. Um, at that point you've got to, let me turn this back on, see if I can show you on the screen successfully or not. So you've got to go to devices now I'm too high I think, there we go. So if you click on devices you'll be able to uh, find my laser. It's already done it in my case. Um, but you can do a search. It will attempt to find it with the USB. It's found uh, nothing this time because it's already been added. Uh, but it will say something like BSL, I can't remember exactly what it said. I think it will say BSL Fibre. Uh, you click on Add Device and it will go through a couple of steps and one of the important things it will ask you to do is uh, go point it to the config file in BSL App Simple. So if you navigate through the files or the folders to the config file it will then extract the information from your uh, BSL App uh, config file and load it into this and uh, once you've done that you are ready to go. It will come up with uh, where are we? BSL fibre or no machine because nothing else is connected and you are ready to go. Let me just put this back up on the stand so uh, you are going to have to do an awful lot of work uh, on sort of down because it's not focusing on anything. You're going to have to do an awful lot of work working out the speeds, uh, power percentages, and uh, frequencies. Uh, in this particular case, uh, it's allowing me to change frequencies uh, between 20 kilohertz and 80 kilohertz, uh, and obviously we've got full control of the power. Um, so I like to mark things. Now on the left here that is a more visible in daylight or you know artificial light marking. Now that particular one was done at 50% power at 8000 speed. Uh, the one next to it, which is a deeper burn, but it's actually quite, it's harder to read, isn't it? but it's a much deeper burn. Uh, I think I did that uh, at a higher power, but that's not what I want. I prefer the left one, as you can see. 
so yeah that is fine for what I want to do I then thought we would fiddle around with a one of these gold cards and again I've had varying degrees of success the larger darker print there uh, was 100% uh, power 500 speed offset fill at 80 uh, kilohertz and it doesn't look too bad the other ones again were all at different speeds and that was just the ones at the top there were just line selected uh, same if I can get these to focus yeah same here what else have we got and we've got some non-filled in results at the bottom so not too bad but I'm going to show you something on the microscope if I can just bring this I'm just going to unplug it hopefully it'll carry on working yes it is if we come over to the microscope and uh, right it's going to be a bit tricky I've got to focus on the microscope and the card now if I just tilt so let me just bring that screen down a fraction get to the bottom here right can you see it is kind of not shut the laser off correctly and it looks like it's sort of firing five or six little dots between well certain positions on the text hopefully you can see that it's particularly obvious just here and you can almost see how many times it's fired absolutely no idea why it's doing that of course there are so many settings and things that you can change in this now if we go to the smaller ones if I again if I just tilt it you can see it there as well so that is that very small text at the top there that we're looking at And I'm pretty certain that is not there if we use the BSL app simple. Obviously loads of things, this is a beta version and uh, I'm sure it is nowhere near <laughs> complete. Uh, even the dark text, if we go and look at the bottom here, you can still see that it is not quite right. It is putting those marks probably it's doing it even more but it is inside that dark region hopefully you can see that on the camera so whilst it looks good from here um, if you you know go close up with the scope you can see those marks so there we go really, uh, yes you can use uh, light burn on your Mr. Carve M1 Pro and probably all of the other machines uh, but it's far from perfect, I am yet to try the rotary and the roller, I'm not even sure it will recognise when they're plugged in, in fact let's plug them in now <laughs> just to see if anything happens. Let's try the rotary one first. So we will just plug that in, fire the machine up, and let's have a little look, see if we can recognising it yet. Let's have a look. Just holding it back. There we go. That's uh, now up and running again. Let's see if we've got any options. Laser tools. Rotary setup. Uh, so we've got chuck, roller, enable rotary. Let's tick that. 
various settings there X or Y axis okay test oh that's interesting it is hopefully you can see that in the background it is testing both directions and uh, uh, obviously we've got steps per rotation, object diameter, circumference, motor speed settings, minimum and maximum, acceleration time, return speed. So you're going to have to set all these up when you bring this in here. You're going to have to work out what all of these uh, settings are. You might find that it's if you've used the rotary chuck and the roller, it might import those settings uh, from the config file but I've absolutely no idea but certainly it uh, doesn't seem to make any difference whether I'm on X or Y Steps per rotation, object diameter, yeah, we'll have to work all of that out. So if we just unplug that and try the roller. Hopefully you can see the rollers. Uh, so we're going to go to roller. Now we're going to hit the test. And that works as well. Excellent. Well that is interesting. So this might prove to be uh, a much better option uh, than the BSL app. Certainly what well, powers both of these. You're going to have to work out your own settings. Uh, so that really uh, it's just really an introduction to see if uh, the Mr. Carve M1 Pro uh, will work with Lightburn. It certainly does. Um, whether you've got full control um, or f you know really whether you can get really good results at the moment. Oh, well, that is uh, something we're going to have to look at uh, more closely. I'm sure others will. Have far more information when this uh, has uh, come out properly but you can use it for my use you know marking things uh, that sort of stuff uh, it's going to be absolutely uh, fine anyway hope that was uh, useful right just back again I just thought I would uh, go back to the uh, BSL simple whatever they call it what is it BSL app simple <laughs> Okay, well, what I can't recreate is this dark text that the uh, Lightburn program gave me. Um, so what I've done here, I've just gone and printed off, let's get away from the light, uh, just gone and printed off some uh, text here, various speeds and powers. I also changed the kilohertz settings, I can only adjust it I think from at 20 to 80 so we've used 30 to 80 uh, I've done a larger one there with fill obviously that is with fill and on the back I use the fill option too and I thought there were some interesting things to look at on the screen on the microscope so this is the top left at 30 kilohertz and uh, you know nothing to interesting there possibly a couple of little dots on there if you look carefully at the zero I don't know whether this is focusing very well but uh, nothing too bad but if we go down to the 80 kilohertz uh, version uh, sorry hang on let's go back to the top that is the 30 and then if we go to the 80 there are I thought there were a couple of little dots, but maybe 
not on that one, perhaps it's the next one if we come across to uh, so hard to film this I'm moving the card you can get different bits showing up so you can certainly see the fill here what that's doing if we get it just in focus there that's the fill looks certainly much better than the light burn print and there's the very big text again if you hold the card just at the right angle you can see how that's being filled in and then on the back I tried a different fill hoping that I might achieve the darker it's looking dark here but if you look down there it's not so dark it looks almost blue to me Clearly much better with the BSL app simple. You can see some of those dots just appearing a little bit uh, on the zeros on the left side there on the percentage zero as well. same on the 80 kilohertz version possibly a little bit worse on there if you can get it quite in focus similar positions though anyway so that's where we are um, I'll be sticking I suspect to the BSL app simple unless I want to produce something really dark like that which I managed to achieve on the light burn the program so they're clearly doing different things there was really no difference between 30 and 80 kilohertz but this certainly was uh, on the uh, light burn program it seems to be accessing things uh, a little bit more in depth um, whereas the BSL app simple it doesn't appear to be doing a hell of a lot uh, when you certainly tweak certain things Anyway, I just thought I'd add that in there.